I got rear-ended and I couldn't use my right hand for anything intricate. It wasn't really until I started finding these ways to work around it that I got my passion back and my positivity back for music. It's such an, a unique thing to hear a software controlling something so physical. People think that there might be a ghost playing them. My name is Oliver Arnalds. I am a producer, songwriter, composer from Iceland. I approach my music like an electronic producer. I work in the computer with a lot of synthesizers and drum machines. But I'm using classical instruments like strings and piano. I do like to bring all these traditional sounds of strings, of woodwinds, physical instruments that are so expressive, so emotive into an environment that is a little bit more accessible for most people. So Stratus is a software that I created with my friend. And this software creates generative algorithms that are meant to control these two self-playing pianos. These self-playing pianos have been around for ages. I always thought there's a beautiful piece of technology there that is only being used to play back music, but not necessarily being used very much to create music. I insert notes and the software reads those notes so it, it knows what chord I'm playing. So each note of the chord gets its own rhythm, tempo, time signature and everything. If you give each note just a very like kind of random number, not in any sort of 4-4 four, four type of signature, um, that's when you get these things that sound totally random, but actually they're not. They're just very complex mathematics. There's a lot of accidental patterns that happen along the way, which I then listen to and, and grab onto if I hear something interesting, and then I can build the song from those accidental patterns. This is my song Unfold from my new album Remember. This song started with me just kind of improvising and playing around with this Stratus software and seeing what randomized elements the software is throwing at me and grabbing onto some of those ideas. I decided to put staccato strings as kind of the main other element in the first half of the song. And then the woodwinds bring the tension to it. I think what provides a very interesting contrast here, I asked these string players to play as robotically as they could. But on the other hand, we have this element which is made by a software, and that element actually becomes more human than what the humans are playing on the strings. And that provides the kind of emotional aspect of the song. So when I was younger, I was in a band called Fighting Shit. We were a like, trash punk band. I played drums. We went at it pretty hard. We made a lot of records and kind of made a little career out of that. I became interested in classical music 
mostly through my grandparents who were very big classical music listeners. But it wasn't really until I discovered film scores that I wanted to make it. Not really having the musical education to back it up, my creations became kind of very simplistic, loopy versions of that that are actually more related to modern pop music. I think the result is what became neoclassical music, is basically people trying to make classical music but not really knowing how to. The most important thing I took from punk music was the DIY ethos of everything. Nothing was relying on management or labels. We really believe in doing things ourselves. So then when I started doing classical music, I kept that ethos. You know, I was doing completely different kind of music suddenly, but nothing in my head actually changed. I kept booking the same kind of venues I was touring with my punk bands, but just bringing a string quartet and a small electric keyboard. So once I had this idea, which is the piano, the staccato strings, and then the woodwinds supporting it, that's when I started adding more complementary things like the bass line, which is actually a polyphonic cork keyboard. There's a melody that kind of alternates between a piano that I actually play, not an automatic piano, and then some legato parts in the woodwinds. And that was kind of enough to have that very simple melody to kind of give the song a little bit of meaning. Because of how the rhythms of the pianos are kind of unpredictable, I filled the empty toilet paper roll with a bunch of rice and hit it with a drumstick. And that kind of helps the pianos define the rhythm a little bit. It's a little bit ironic that you're complementing very expensive, nice, real instruments with a roll of toilet paper. <laughs> it got rear-ended, something that happens all the time, but it was by a big semi-truck, so it was a bit harsh. After that, I suffered some nerve damage in my spine and I couldn't use my right hand for anything intricate for like a year or a year and a half. I couldn't play piano. It was heartbreaking to me. It was really difficult. I felt horribly depressed, to be honest. And that ended up really setting this idea completely in stone to use these self-playing pianos. I could play chords but I couldn't play any scales or like individual notes. So that influenced how we programmed Stratus to react to me entering chords and turning them into textures and rhythms. It gave me a little bit of a purpose to be creating something without having to use my hands that much. That whole thing brought life back to me. Instead of building to a traditional peak, it actually builds up and then suddenly drops down. I came up with this idea of adding a traditional hip hop 808 bass drum into it, which you don't hear very often in classical music. <laughs> so at the same time as this big fat hip hop kick drum comes in, the pianos become so soft. My friend, the singer-songwriter Son, he came over and I showed him the very early demo of this song. And he just started singing and this like beautiful angelic choir arrangement came out totally on the spot. For me, the creative process, you can, you can look at it like the circle of life. It's not just one thing that finishes, there's always a continuation of it. 
So the song is very much about that circle, birth and the rebirth of, of creativity. Stratus and this whole idea is just a tool that gives me another sound that I wouldn't be able to make otherwise. It's not supposed to replace humans in any way. Because music is about saying something, it's about expressing something, and the computer isn't trying to say anything. And music without meaning is nothing.